can garlic cure infections? It is revered for centuries as both a culinary staple and a potent healer, and holds a wealth of medicinal properties that have fascinated cultures worldwide. In modern research, science is exploring new ways to use garlic's antibacterial compound allicin. One approach involves using a combination of allicin with a type of virus that attacks bacteria called a bacteriophage. This combination works even better than using bacteriophage with the antibiotic neomycin, for instance. So, in this video, we'll deep dive and understand how garlic can be effective in curing infections. Garlic's antibacterial activity is due to this organosulfur compound called allicin. Allicin is not present in raw garlic. In raw garlic cloves, the substrate, allicin, and the enzyme allinase are separately compartmented in the cytoplasm and vacuole, respectively. Allicin is actually produced upon tissue damage, when the enzyme allinase and the substrate allicin mix. The characteristic odor of freshly cut garlic is due to allicin. Because of its volatility, allicin can exhibit antibacterial and antifungal activity not only as a solution but also via the gas phase. A single garlic clove of approximately 10 grams can produce approximately 5 milligrams of allicin which is capable of showing enormous antibacterial potential. For a compound to work as an antimicrobial agent, it needs to reach its target. So if these targets are inside the microbial cell, the compound must be able to enter the cell and attack those targets. That should lead to cell inactivation or cell death. Researchers found that allicin can easily pass through the cell membranes, so it can work as an antimicrobial. So now let's talk about the targets of allicin. The most studied targets are glutathione and DNA gyrase. Glutathione is a tripeptide consisting of glutamic acid, cysteine, and glycine. Allicin attacks the cysteine residue and oxidizes it to glutathione disulfide. In healthy cells, the cytosol is in a reduced or reducing state. This is controlled largely by glutathione, glutathione disulfide redox couple which is also called as glutathione pool. 90% of glutathione is found in the cytosol where, where it is synthesized. The other target, DNA gyrase, is an essential bacterial topoisomerase that catalyzes negative supercoiling of double-stranded closed circular DNA. And there may be numerous targets of allicin because the mode of action of allicin is pretty simple and straightforward. That is oxidation. Allicin exerts its antimicrobial effects by oxidizing enzymes and other proteins within the cell. This oxidation process induces structural changes ultimately leading to their inactivation. This, the loss of function in critical enzymes and proteins disrupts vital cellular processes, pr proving it uh, lethal to the microbial cell. But for this process, the pH of the microenvironment within the protein, if this is the protein that there's a microenvironment, so the pH inside matters a lot. Only under favorable pH, the cysteine residues in protein are reactive to allicin. Under adverse pH, the reactivity of these cysteine uh, molecules, cysteine residues with allicin is very weak. So now our question. Can garlic cure infections? Yes, allicin is effective against both gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. It is also active against bacteria that are resistant against certain antibiotics, for example, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA, which is the chief culprit of many hospital infections. If the video was useful, please consider subscribing to my channel for more related content and share this video with your friends if you really liked the video and i'll see you in the next video